His production has increased in each of his three seasons in Philadelphia. Now joining us from Eagles Cam is the young, promising tight end, Brent Selleck. Brent, the only thing that can change an environment inside an NFL facility more than a head coaching change is a change at the starting quarterback. So how is the field different right now with Kevin Cobb leading the way? Well, I think it's a little different just for the fact that Donovan was here for 11 years and, you know, not having him around, it's a little different. But, um, you know, we're confident in Kevin and uh, feel he's going to be a great player. I think we're all kind of in the getting to know Kevin Cobb phase, but you're in the same draft class and I'm trusting you know him very well. So what are some things that you know about Kevin that uh, we don't know quite yet? Well, Kevin's a smart, hardworking quarterback, and he wants to be the best in the NFL. And I don't think he's going to do anything to stop short of that. So, um, you know, he's got trust in us. we got trust in him, and uh, we're looking forward to this year. Now, two of your three 100-yard receiving games last year came when Kevin was the starting quarterback. So part of you has got to be a little bit happy that this change was made. Well, you know, it's always up to the front office, but... Uh, like I said before, we like Kevin, and uh, you know we feel he's going to be a great quarterback. And um, you know it's just going to it's just going to take a little bit of time to you know get more used to each other and um, get on the same page. Me and all the other receivers uh, with Kevin, and uh, that's what we're doing right now in the OTAs, and that's what we'll continue to do in training camp. Now, Kevin's going to be his own guy, his own type of starting quarterback. But Donovan McNabb was so successful there; he spent so much time with him. What's one part of Donovan's game that Kevin would wisely take and incorporate into his? Well, I think I think Don was was awesome at throwing deep balls, and uh, he was good at play action. And I, I think you know Kevin will learn a lot of things from him. You know, you'd have to ask Kevin all that uh, just because he was in the meetings room, meeting rooms with him, um, you know, on the field with him, seeing some of the things he's seeing. But uh, you know, Don Don was a great quarterback himself, and. Uh, you know, I think Kevin's learned a lot from him. What's it been like for you watching on the television the past couple months, Donovan McNabb in a Washington Redskins uniform? It's been kind of awkward, um, just for the fact that he was throwing me the ball last year and he's not this year. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure he's having fun out there. Uh, you know, he, he always keeps it light, and uh, I always like that about Don. One of the nice parts about the offseason, you have time to get into the community and do some things outside the football field. Share with us what you were up to last Friday. Last Friday, we did the uh, playground build. Um, you know, we went to a school, and every year we go and we paint. Uh, we, we put in a playground, and uh, usually they keep me the painting, and I'm, I'm not very good at it, but uh, I tried my hardest, and um, it's, always, it's always a great thing for our team and, uh, you know, for the people in the community, too. Uh, it's a kind of endeavor where uh, effort means a lot more than talent. Brent Stella, congrats on what you and the team did on Friday, and uh, enjoy the rest of your summer. Thank you. Thanks for having me.